Hey guys, it's Brian again from Lake Hickory Scuba and Marina. Uh, we're going to show you a cool little trick that we use. We've been getting a lot of questions from people. How do we shoot our underwater videos, whether it's uh, our selfie shots that we've been doing during our commentated videos, or whether or not it's actually just the shots that we use. And there's, there's several ways that we do it. Um, we're usually running multiple cameras at the same time. We're not just running one camera. Uh, so I want to show you a setup that I use. Uh, a lot and then during our videos when you'll see the diving footage and then you'll see a selfie photo or a selfie uh, footage of me or another diver then it switches back it's because I'm running it up from two different cameras and of course in the editing process or the post-production part of it that's where I'll go through and take clips from each each camera itself and put them together for the video but what I have here is the setup that I'm currently using this is just an extension pole made by Intova both cameras that I'm using are the Intova Nova and the Intova Edge X Wi-Fi camera. And I also have two lights mounted. I have an EO5 or an EOS or an EOS5 by Mares, and I got their little flashlight um, combination strobe light that I also use. And I'm going to explain why I got it set up like this, how I'm mounting these cameras. First of all, we'll start with the front camera. This is the Intova Edge X camera with the EOS 5 or EOS 5 light underneath. And the reason I chose this light, it's got a lot of penetrative power. Um, I believe it's over a thousand lumens, so it's really gonna punch out there through the dark. And with the camera mounted up as high as it is, and I, of course I can tilt this guy back and forth wherever I need it, but it's gonna have plenty of light to extend out there to, to get the best shot. Plus it's a dual beam light, I can extend out. There's a spot and a flood light that's built in um, to the light itself so that works good for this particular camera to mount the back camera for the selfie shots i have just in tow a standard mask mount uh same thing that we wear on our mask or for the shooters out there we have a lot of firearm enthusiasts they'll mount them on, like upside down on a picatinny rail and this particular mount works good for that but i just simply have it crimped on here and of course the lights held on with zip ties you can use velcro straps or whatnot but I just have the mass mount crimped on with the uh, Intova Nova camera mounted there for all selfie shots. And then the reason I chose this particular light, though it's not a very, very powerful light, I'm not really needing that much light ricocheted back off of me to where it's going to blind the camera. Because if I'm running this thing and I've got the pole extended out and I've got that light shining on me, if it's too much light, it's going to glare into the footage or glare into the lens of the camera. So I choose a very dim light for that. And this one works good because it's a good flooded uh, light. It's not really a, a straight beam that goes out. It's more of a flood light. Uh, but th this is the camera setup I use. And you can really use any extension pole, especially with the Intova cameras, just because they're mounted with a standard quarter inch screw at the bottom. Um, I just, we're an Intova dealer, so of course I'm going to use the Intova poles. But, you know, this guy will extend out quite a bit. I've got three different levels of extension here, so I can really reach out about five to six feet with this thing. Um, a lot of times in our shots when you'll see the selfie footage and maybe we're talking about proper uh, fin techniques or proper uh, trim in the water and you'll see me and I'll compare it to a diver that's behind me, this is how we're getting that shot with this pole. I have it completely extended out and of course I'll tilt this back or forth so that of course I don't get the pole in the shot but you'll see me in the shot and you'll see the other divers behind me. And then same thing with here. I want to get the shot so that if I'm looking at something, now I really like the mass mount as far as when I'm doing public safety diving or underwater criminal investigations or something like that. But for something like this, when I'm just shooting underwater video, I can turn my head and the camera's still going to stay steady because it's not on my head, it's on the pole itself. And if I do need to get a, a shot of something, I can easily turn this without any erratic movement which you would make if it was mounted on a head mount or even a mass mount up top. But guys, this is the setup that we use. Um, it's just the Intova pole, the extension pole. I've got the Intova Edge X. I've got the Intova Nova for the selfie cam. I've got just a standard um, uh, LED versus uh, combination uh, strobe light by Mares. And then I choose the EOS 5 for the dual beam and for the the power that it puts out the thousand looms which I really like. So guys that's it. It's nothing really really hard. It's just a few essential components. Everything's mounted with zip ties minus this mount and of course the mount of the pole itself. And other than that, that's how we shoot our videos underwater, both selfie footage and just our normal diving footage. So guys I hope that helps you out for the ones who's wondering how we set up our cameras. As always make sure you check back each week for a new video. 
Uh, make sure you follow us on Twitter, you like us on Facebook, pin us on Pinterest, subscribe to us here on YouTube, and as always, guys, we appreciate your business.